Hey guys, Peyton Snabek here again for another video for you guys today. Um, so I just got done watching um, The Cloverfield Paradox um, on Netflix, which is also known as Cloverfield Part 3. Um, so yeah, um, so they just did, um, recently did a Clover Cloverfield 3, which is a Netflix original movie. So, if you got, so that, that, just to let you guys know if you guys you gotta have Netflix to watch this movie, so, um, but it's kind of weird that this thing came out already, because, you know, at first, um, it was gonna, it was gonna come out in, like, February, but then the date was changed to, like, you know, all, or April, and then, um, I guess they just changed their minds or something, I, I don't know, but, but apparently this did not go into theaters, which is kind of surprising, because it, it was actually it, a Netflix original movie, so, um, but they are going to be doing a fourth one in October, I believe, so, um, yeah, but anyway, let's dive into the review, shall we, um, so, out of five stars, I give this one probably two and a half out of five, I, I thought this one was a little bit disappointing, I mean, because, um, the thing is, I was just, like, it was really not a good movie at all. I mean, I was so bored with it. It just, some of the stuff really was kind of, like, confusing, you know? Because, I mean, as I kept watching, I'm like, well, what is going on? I don't, because I, I couldn't really understand what was, you know, what what was the whole, you know, point of the movie, you know? I didn't really know what, what was going on. But it was basically, like, so confusing, I can't really explain it, really. Um, it took place on, like, a spaceship, you know, and, you know, there's, like, these weird things are happening, you know, um, it's hard to explain it. You would just have to watch the movie to, you know, figure, you know, because, like, I'm really not into, like, you know, these kind of, like, you know, spaceship movies, like, you know, like, Star Wars or Star Trek, you know, I'm not really into that kind of stuff, but why did I watch this one? Because I... I like the first two Cloverfield movies, you know, because Cloverfield, the first one, which you guys know, would, was a found footage movie about, um, start, it's about, um, this going away party going on, and then, um, it took place in New York City, but, you know, um, stuff is happening in, in New York City, and there's this, like, monster, you know, uh, attacking the city, and, you know, the sequel, 10 Cloverfield Lane, well, it's not really actually a sequel, in a way, it kind of is, but it, there was really no connection to that one. But and you know, but that one was not a found footage movie, um, Ten of Cloverfield Lane. But it it did freaking good in the box office thing, and I really liked it. So I mean, yeah. But the first two are my favorites. This one is probably like my least favorite in the series so far. Um, but it is because I know um, I did hear something about the the trailer for this played on on the um the Super Bowl thing yesterday or something. I don't know, but I, I did like um, the ending, though, because I, I, was, this was basically like a, um, a sequel to the first one, so I really liked um, what they did in the ending, but, you know, but I did not really like this movie. You know, because as I kept watching it, it was it was kind of reminding me more of, like, um, what do you call it? Jason X and um, Critters 4. Because it had those kind of, like, you know, same, like, comedic, like, aspects to the movies. And, you know, I know they're going to be doing um, the next Chucky movie like that, which is going to be stupid. But am I going to get it, even if they do that? <sighs> yeah, because I like the Chucky movies, and I'm weird like that. <laughs> so, um, but will I get this, even though it's part of the Cloverfield movies? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But, but yeah, but this this movie was kind of not good. It really, well, it wasn't good to me in my opinion. I don't know about any of you guys if you liked it or what. But you know, I mean, I can't really think of anything much to say, really. But, but yeah, but two. Two and a half stars is what I'll give it. I mean, because, I mean, there was some cool aspects about it. It did go a little bit... It started to go, like, very, very gory. Well, not, like, super gory, but, you know... 
because you know this is a Netflix original movie, and this was like a rated R type movie. So, because um, I know the um, both the first two Cloverfields they were PG thirteen. So, yeah, but I mean, I say you guys can give it a try. It's really not good to me in my opinion, but I don't know about you guys. But um, I just wanted to give my quick little mini review on what I thought about it, um, which probably isn't like a good video, even though I'm. I didn't really explain it, even though I was just talking about why I kind of didn't like it, you know. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.